Welcome to Clear Shampoo presents Checkmate. Hunt for the smartest young executive here in the Middle East. We started out with 16 and we are down to these 10. They're fighting it out for that opportunity of a lifetime where the winner gets a fully paid year long internship with Unilever and the first runner up wins an internship with Ideas 91. But, ye das wegase. Well, let's have a recap. Previously on Clear Shampoo presents Checkmate. Contestants got a taste of the real corporate environment at Rackbank and took on the Rackbank phone off challenge. So your task is today to register our customers for mobile banking. This call is to invite you to our mobile banking services which is easily accessible to you at your fingertips. So would you like to download the app sir? No, no, I think I'm pretty comfortable using online banking because I'm, I'm a little skeptical, you know. Anybody gets hang, uh, gets hold of my phone and do, does mobile cash for 15,000, 20,000, then, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little skeptical using this app at the moment. Hello. I'm yeah. so sorry to keep you on hold for a long time. May I give you a call back in a few moments as I'll have someone who will be, be able to assist you? But you don't have all the information. Okay, guys, time's up. Put your headphones down. Team B was the winner. Followed by two intense eliminations of Hanan and Mr. Confident Masood from Team A. For today's task, we're at Anta Sports Showroom at Al Ghurair Mall, Dubai. The number one valued sportswear brand in the world. Anta Sports believe in making sports accessible for all. Launched in 1994, Anta today is a comprehensive name in the sportswear industry, offering a wide range of products in sports and fitness category. Well, today, our episode is filled with lots of challenges, lots of excitement and lots of surprises for all these final 10. Alright guys, huddle in. So I'm just going to say it as, as it is, alright? We think that elimination was absolutely unfair. Masood was undoubtedly the best performer among all of you. He outdid everybody else. He was confident and he was amazing. And apart from politics, there's really no reason why he should have left the show. We're starting to doubt whether this is a game of popularity and friendship or whether it's a game where you're out to get what you really, really want. Getting an internship with one of the biggest FMCG companies in the world, Unilever, that's a big deal. If you guys are not serious, you can seriously just walk out right now. We don't have a problem. There are tens and thousands of uh, students out there who are willing to take that space of yours. Let's be clear that we want serious guys here. Masood's elimination was pure politics because their team is just supporting their friends and they're not allowing people who are actually performing well to go further in, in the tasks because he got Mr. Confident that day and he was also eliminated that day. So some of you really want this, some of you maybe not so much. But you've spent enough time with each other to know who that person is. As you already know, Randir, you're safe. Sachi, you can't be eliminated either. So the rest of you, you're not so safe. We're going to ask each of you to write a name on this cue card of the person who you think wants this the least. I did not, not at all, I did not expect the eliminations to happen first, like firstly in the morning. Like seriously, I thought there would be something, you know, there would be an extra task or something we had, would be needing to do which would lead to the elimination, but there was nothing like that. The morning at Anta began with a shocking twist, mainly due to the fact of the early morning eliminations, which I believe was very unsuspecting. Let's start with uh, you, Aarti. Mohit. Mohit. Why? Why? I just felt that a little weaker than the rest of us. So I think... Did he want it? I've not seen like him fight. fighting spirit, so okay. I don't know. I would say Shamaya. Why? Mainly because I haven't seen him drive or push forward to achieve any task. He likes to contribute ideas, but I don't see him pushing forward to it. Uh, I also say Shumail because he wasn't that interested when I worked with him and he was taking everything really casually. 
So that shows that he's not that interested. I've written Ashna because I just think she's really too young to get, you know, uh, she needs more exposure and uh, allowing people, other people to state out their opinions and all should be a part of a team member. It is Mohit. I do not feel that he contributed that much. In fact, the ideas that he spoke on was also mine. So I would like to continue with that flow. I've written Ruchi. Uh, only because I worked with her yesterday and I just didn't see a fighting spirit that the rest of us, I feel like, had. Yeah, I've written Ruchi as well. Just because of the same reason, I support what Rashi has said. I've also written Ruchi uh, because uh, I've worked with her for the first two times, like we were in the same team. But I never saw the interest like in towards the task that the rest of us had, like the way we were always brainstorming with new things. That interest wasn't as such there. I've written Nathan because he did contribute and he did have good ideas but in the sense that if he wanted it he was chilling he didn't care if we win or lose he was very relaxed he didn't he didn't really want to win Britain Mohit except for yesterday's task I think Mohit was a weak link for the first two tasks Mohit and Ruchi can you uh, please step forward we're gonna keep this simple there's Eight of you, you've got to choose between Mohit and Ruchi. All right? So those of you who think Mohit wants this the least, put your hand up. Five people say that Mohit wants it the least. And Ruchi gets the other three. Ruchi, you can step back. I felt bad for Mohit for leaving because he was really happy that he finally won a task and he had to go home after winning the task. So, I think Mohit should have stayed. Maybe he was not able to perform well in other tasks so people thought, him, thought that he was a weak point. Even when I worked with him in previous tasks, he would uh, just contribute an idea and Sometimes he would work towards it, sometimes he would show that fire and passion or sometimes he'd just regress and just let others take charge. Mohit, maybe this is not your thing. Maybe you should try some other kind of opportunity. It's sad to say goodbye to you. When I walked in, I thought I will be able to do the task today and it will be really fun because it's in a mall and let's... Okay, things just go wrong. It's okay. Thank Probably. you for your contribution Thank you. the show. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Mohit deserved to go home more because I have worked with Ruchi and I've seen what she's capable of. She just needs a bit of guidance and she can do the job for you. I do think uh, Randeer has planned this out about uh, taking me out today. And it's okay though. I mean, he's playing his politics. Let him do it. We have a wild card entry. Ready to find out who? Right? Come on out! Welcome back to Clear Shampoo Presents Checkmate, the hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East. Now, if we start making the team, it will be four and five. Yeah? That's not even. We need one more person in. We have a wild card entry. Mohit's exit was uh, difficult, but then came another twist, and that was that we were having a wild card entry. I could not guess who it would be. I thought it could be anybody who had left before from anyone new who we'd never met. Ready to find out who? Right. Come on out! When I saw him coming, I was happy because I really wanted to work with him. The minute he walked in, I was really surprised. He was back and he wanted, to, and I could see that he really wanted to win it this time. So the, top, the competition just got a lot difficult and uh, a lot more exciting. Welcome, Welcome back, back, Abel. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm really glad that Checkmate called me back. At first I thought it was a prank. 
I'm really glad I have this, I've given this second opportunity. The ones that revealed myself, the expressions were really amazing. Some were really happy and some were not. I was not at all scared when Abel came back because he went out by the judges for the right decision. I'm so happy that he's back and because uh, he and I had bonded over the, over the course of time over the show. So, I mean, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm here today and I'm here to stay. You can go take your spot back. Hi. Hello. Anything you want to say to your team? Well, I came here for a purpose and I will make sure I fulfill that purpose. Let the games begin. Yes. Two. Arti. I'll pick Ashna because I've never worked with her before. Uh, Adarsh. Okay. Okay. Sachi. Rindi. Uh, Rashi. Abel. Uh, Ruchi. Ruchi, Nathan, Shamal, Well, the teams have been formed, but uh, what the task will be and why we're here, we're going to find out after the break. This is Clear Shampoo Presents Checkmate, hunt for the smartest young executive here in the Middle East. Now, you must be wondering why are we here at Anta Sports? Well, our next task is going to happen right here. I like this. But this is not ankle. No, it's very matching. boring colours. Boring colour. Boring colour. No. Boring okay. color. Welcome back to Clear Shampoo Presents Checkmate, the hunt for the smartest young executive in the Middle East. Now, you must be wondering why are we here at Anta Sports? Well, our next task is going to happen right here. So, this particular task in this task, your budgeting skills will involve your procurement skills. Involve hongi, and with that, uh, we'll try and understand how good do you understand your target audience. Mm -hmm. Alright? Well, Andra Sports, if you don't already know, is the number one value sportswear brand in the world. And the general manager of Andra Sports, here in the Middle East, is here with us. She's going to be your judge and your mentor. So, give a big round of applause to Aarti Mohandas. <laughs> Pleasure to have you on the show, Arti. Pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for coming down. Anything you want to tell the students? All the best for your task. This is definitely going to be an interesting task, I hope. Um, to give you a brief about Anta. Anta is actually the sixth largest sportswear brand in the world in terms of market capitalization and undoubtedly the number one value sportswear brand in the world. We at Anta believe in making sports accessible to everyone. Now. Are we ready to find out what the task is? Yes. 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 First of all, you have a budget. Each team has a budget of 1,800 dirhams. You have access to all the resources that you have here in the store. What you've got to do is design a kit, a male kit and a female kit for a specific kind of target audience. Okay? Arti, do you want to tell us what the two categories are? Okay. There are two options which are there. So one group gets to put together a category or a kit for a runner. Somebody who goes outside running, doesn't like the gym, likes the air, uh, fresh air, especially the weather being so good now. So that's one set. And the other group has to put together a kit for a woman and a man who would go to the gym to work out. So somebody who's conscious about their body structure and in terms of, you know, wants to tone their body, build muscle, all of that. I would say it's more about putting the right kit together than uh, saving money, because here you want product that would suit you when you're doing an activity. All right. Uh, I'm guessing you Sachi, get to choose. since your team won last time, we'll go with you first. Which kit would you want to choose? Can I ask my team? You sure. have five seconds. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Jimmy. 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 Okay. Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy. All right, guys. Let's get working. Sachi and team, shall we? Let's run. 
All right, team A, your time. 20 minutes starts now. All right, great. Thank you. Okay. Guys, wait. Girls, we'll do, we'll do the girls' yeah. kit. You guys do the guys' kit. Okay. Let's split the budget half half. If you need more, I'll give you more. You guys give yeah. us more. And remember the technology. Don't, yeah. don't forget yeah. that you don't have to save as much money, okay? I was in Sachi's team for the first time. I got to work with Sachi. I've never worked with Sachi before. And I've heard a lot of good things about Sachi. She always, she listens and she makes sure that she includes it also. And I think that's a very important quality for any leader to have. I like this. But this is our ankle. Me and Ashna worked really well together. We knew what we had to do, we knew what we had to buy, and we had our budget ready that we spent 605, so that was great. Read the tag, it tells you what it does. Everything has got a it, tag. Got it, got it, got like it. all the t-shirts and the pants, check out the tag. It gives you a perfect explanation why it can, can be better than the The guys part of it was a bit of a mess because they were running around, they didn't know what to buy. We've got to get cross training then. So I'll keep this, yeah? The answer task was all about getting the right kit in the right budget in a limited time. So basically my role was to make sure my teammates get the right items in the right budget. I was all around them with the calculator and my personal diary noting down and calculating the prices. I believe Abel has shown a lot of fire and determination, but I believe he can be rather over-enthusiastic at times. And then we'll pick a bright t-shirt. Yeah. We knew we only had 20 minutes and me and Sachi were the only girls in the team. So we knew that we had to make the girl kit and the, the, rest, three had, the, the rest three guys had to make the guys kit. I know it says running, but you have to check the material and check this sure. what you need. Time, this one. Time, 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 time. Where is, yeah. where is the cross no, no, just relax. Just relax. My group performed very well together. We were all on the same page. We all knew what we had to do. We split our budget. We did everything we had to. I think this is for running. It's the same. Okay. Same. Keep okay. this, keep this. this Matching? Yeah, it has to match. Okay, okay. Tell me the Why this t-shirt? We're going to have two sets. One will be track and vest. The other one will be short and uh, t-shirt. But we need one outfit keep. for We man. need only one outfit. All right, people, four minutes left. Okay. Four minutes to go. Did you this will hold switch. Which one? Why, okay, okay. Why are you picking it? Why are you picking it? That's it. Time is up. Ashna just put the girls and the other bag is for the boys. Over and done with it. Now see you guys at the presentation. Thank you. Hey, why don't you put this in? All right, guys, your 20 minutes starts now. Go. OK. This task was a lot of fun. A lot of teamwork was required. I think a lot of different sets of skills were tested in this task. But are you checking for men or women? No, women. Ha, this is men. Does this pant look nice? We're running. Yes. Dude, this both look good. Wait, hold on. Now we need this some... This No, it's very matching. boring colours. Boring colours. With colors. the no. Boring okay. colour. Boring colour. Okay. Guys, we need this colour shoes. Uh, okay, yeah, For yeah, men, yeah. running. Yeah, running this colour. She is a little bossy when it comes to uh, getting her word out. Huh. Just go for we, the outfit. Come on. All of you, guys, yeah, yeah. go for the outfit yeah, for girls. Yeah. We'll Shut do the guys. Up. This is, not normal. this is not running. It's not running. Is it the running ones are thin. Yeah, that's what they're breathe. Like, okay, forget yeah, the so LED. Just breathe. check. I find Adarsh to be especially uh, blindly following uh, Rashi and so because uh, I never saw him skeptic of any decision that uh, Rashi says. He mostly always goes with the flow and agrees to whatever she says without any second questioning. Because see now, this yeah, because under the combinations yeah. really But change, are change the strip of this the one. Shoes, then. Shoes, the, okay, we shoes we have. Arti is good as a captain. Uh, although I felt like I was doing more of the captain C related work uh, rather than her. I was motivating the team. I was talking to them. I was hearing everyone out, making sort of a plan. Arti was uh, more of a member. Yes, she put her input in, but I can't say the task was completely in her hands. Why didn't you do this? This yeah. is beautiful. Let's take this. 
ये दिस इज जॉगिंग के लिए दिस टू फैंसी मैन बेटे मैं हां शुगर रुचि या यू आर पुटिंग इट टुगेदर फॉर द गर्ल ना जल्दी कर दो प्लीज 5 सॉक्स है गाइस के लिए हम 3 सॉक्स डिड यू ऐड 2 एंड प्राइस 15 टाइम्स अप टाइम्स अप व्हाट यू हैव इज व्हाट यू हैव यू कैन पिक अप एनीथिंग मोर कलेक्ट योर स्टफ एंड लेयर ऑन दिस next episode on clear shampoo presents checkmate this is the look that we designed for the gym i thought if i wanted comfortable clothes for fitness or for running what would i choose three factors fitness good looking and budget finally concluding safety is one of the most important features in gymming so we have chosen the stability shoes i would like to ask you why you wearing running shorts the women's kit was done very well i should say that as well that was very organized The men's part, I thought it was a little bit of a mess. It's where everybody was like, "Should we take this? Should we take that? Go there, go there, all of that." So, a little bit of disorganization in the men's part. The both teams did reasonably well. However, we do have a winner. Be sure to watch Claire Shampoo presents Checkmate. And the winner.